Hey everybody, today was my last day at work before school starts, so I'm walking around like this. Actually, I probably don't need the tie. Probably should hang this up. You know, maybe I should just go naked. Plan B. Sorry, ladies. Okay, what was I doing? So guys, what if there was a world in which there was only width and height? Oh yeah, so this guy, of course, is talking about Flatland. For those of you who are not familiar with Flatland, check out this annotation. It is a link to a video where Carl Sagan explains Flatland. Now what if I were to take my ring here and just kind of shove it right through their world? Let's think about how they would process this event. Hey, you see something? Uh, yeah. Well, what did you see? Well, I saw a point and then a line and then two lines and two lines further apart. Then they came back together and came to a point again. And then it was gone. I don't know. I think, I think maybe it was something more. I think it was a ring. A ring? Yeah, I mean, I think it was something more than just point, line, 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 point. I, I think it was a ring. Well, have you ever seen a ring? No. Ever held a ring? No. Ever touched a ring? No. Ever been to Ringville? No. Any proof of your claim whatsoever? No. Okay, first, this is either a bad analogy or simply an unworkable argument because... Honestly, they would have no framework, no concept of what a three-dimensional ring is. A circle, maybe, but not a ring. So it's kind of hard to see how these flat people would correctly describe and understand a three-dimensional ring passing through their dimension and what it would look like and say, oh, that looks like what a three-dimensional ring would look like passing through our dimension. And of course, that's assuming that they're just, they've already figured out that, oh, it was a three-dimensional object passing through our two-dimensional world. W where does that idea come from in the first place? But anyway, as you can see, the argument, the analogy being made here is, but there is a ring! And it's like how in our world we see weird stuff that we can't explain, and some people think it's God, so it is God, just like it really is a ring. Because it, it, that just, it, it makes sense. Of course, this is an argument from ignorance, where you say, we don't know what caused or what explains X, therefore, this explained X. Missing the point of, we don't know. So let's redo that scene of the two flat people talking about the ring, and let's make it about UFOs. Hey, did you see something? Uh, yeah. W what did you see? Well, I saw a weird pulsating green light zoom across the sky, and then it stopped, and then it kept going, and then I couldn't see it anymore. I don't know. I think it was something more. I think it was aliens. Aliens. So you see how that works, but I'm probably spending too much time on this first one problem. Let's keep going. Now, what if I took my hand and I just, like, hovered it right above them? Now, this is three-dimensional, so they're not seeing this, but they're just like, right here, I'm hovering right above them, and the one would say to the other, Hey, you feel something? No, what are you talking about? I don't know, I just, I feel like Jeremy is near. I, I, I just feel the overwhelming presence of Jeremy. Okay, okay, that is also the first problem we just talked about. For this little flat dude, where the heck is he getting the idea of an extra-dimensional conscious being, let alone one named Jeremy? You know, there was a great quote, and I don't remember who it was attributed to or what its exact phrasing was, but it was something to the effect of, spirituality is nothing more than getting the willies and saying it was God. This is what that quote was talking about. Now, what if I really wanted to mess with him? <laughs> and I just took my hand and just jammed it right through the middle of them. Well, my fingers are of different size and different lengths, so they would show up as varying sizes of circles at slightly different times. And the one would say, did you see that? Yeah, it was just some circles. Pretty normal. Uh, pretty normal? Okay. I know, I know, I know, but I, th I think they were connected. I I think it might be the hand of Jeremy. Really? Really, really, really? The, it, it, it was the hand of Jeremy. It, it couldn't have been anything else. With no rationale, it was just the hand of Jeremy. Why not... aliens? I think it might be the hand of Jeremy. What proof do you have that they have any connection to each other whatsoever? And the other one starts to have to resort to using words like, I just sense, trust, believe, have faith erroneously conclude that weird lights in the sky are aliens because that too is an argument from ignorance? 
Now this guy seems like he's lost his mind while the other guy is saying you have to give up this silly mythic superstition. When the guy who seems crazy is dead right and the one who's coming from a very logical reductionist standpoint is missing a whole other reality that his eyes and mind could be open to because all this guy's trying to say to him is that there's more. Stop, 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 stop. Both guys would agree that there is something more. There is an unknown, and possibly unknowable, explanation for these weird things. The disagreement starts when one of them offers an explanation with no justification, and the other says, where the heck are you getting that from? And the debate ends right there when they both realize that one of them has been using an argument from ignorance.